Hey guys, today you're going to start off by getting two small strips of paper off of the front counter. There are also some large white sheets of paper, but I'm going to grab those in a little bit so that way they're not in my way. We don't even need to worry about putting our names on these yet because these are going to get glued down to that big sheet of white paper, so there's no sense in putting our names on them. All around the room, you're going to see all these things called texture plates. As we know, texture is how something feels. So you can actually feel what is on these texture plates. We're going to be going on a little texture scavenger hunt today. So you're going to pick up your strips and you're going to be moving around the room trying out all the different kinds of textures. Right? Some of them will be on the floor, some of them will be at tables. You're not going to be just working at your own table today though. So I'm going to find a texture plate. I'm going to put my sheet of paper on it. And I'm going to grab a crayon from at one of the tables, and I'm just going to rub that crayon. And you'll see that we start to get the texture of that texture plate. The texture plates will give you two different textures. So if I color it this way, I get all these little dots. If I flip it over, I'm going to get another texture. And some of the textures will show up better than others. So you see this one's kind of a small texture, so it's harder to see but these two textures look different. I need to fill up my entire strip with these. I need to fill up both strips actually with these textures. So I'm walking around the room trying out all different kinds of textures. Don't just stick to the same one, that's pretty boring. Careful not to lose your strips too as you walk around the classroom. There are going to be a lot of strips floating around. Remember that our names aren't on the back of them, so you need to keep an eye on your stuff. Be responsible. When I'm all done filling up both strips of paper with my textures and I've put away my crayons, now I can go and get this white sheet of paper off of the supply table and I need to put my name on the back of it right away. I know you might accidentally forget because we didn't do it right away today, but please get their name on it. So Mr. Calvert and K in whatever class you're in. Flipping it over, and the last thing I need to do is I just need to glue these two strips down. These are gonna be the towers to your texture castle. So notice that I'm not putting them right next to each other. I'm not putting them way out on the edge either. I just want them kinda towards the outside of my paper. All right, so you can see how I have them set up. A little bit of room over here, a little bit of room over here. And I can glue those down using some nice small dots of glue. Remember, he's like a Easter bunny. He just wants to hop along his paper. And notice too that my strip touches the bottom of my sheet of paper. I shouldn't be gluing it down like this, otherwise it's floating. We don't want any floating castles. When you get all your textures done and when you get these glued down to your large sheet of white paper, you're done for the day. Next time we'll work on adding the rest of our castle too. These go at the bottom of the drying rack when you're all finished.